Welcome back. We are here on Need to looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 1st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, the last two weeks has been absolutely horrible for the U.S. indices and the indices as a whole, especially the U.S. indices. They were uh, basically on a massive rally uh, from the bottom here at the 3,670 all the way up towards nearly 4,000 and then it just collapsed towards the 50 and at the moment we're trading right underneath the 50. So we have been here before. We did um, pass the 50 moving average uh, only a few weeks ago and it is most likely going to go very similar uh, for this um, for this indice. So first of all, a massive stimulus package was basically uh, approved by U.S. Congress or the House of Representatives. It has not yet um, been uh, passed in the Senate, but it will most likely be passed in the Senate. So that will be a major boost to the indices, stocks, and uh, in general. So. As well, U.S. dollar has been appreciating and the yields for our, of our bonds have also been increasing and all of those things have basically been working against stocks and indices as a whole. Therefore, we have seen this massive drop in recent days where people are moving from stocks over to, to bonds. Um, so, yes, at this point, we'll probably can look at the uh, Fibonacci retracement, for example, and you can see that we are going to run into... Uh, we could drop all the way down towards, first of all, uh, 3,750. Here, not the school version. Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 1st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and uh, these... Uh, the indices in the United States especially have been absolutely hammered in recent days. Well, in the last two weeks, I should say. So we're trading at the, underneath the 50 moving average at this point. And one of the main reasons why this has fallen so significantly is because of the yields have been increasing and people have been turning from stocks over to bonds. And also the US dollar has also been appreciating. And all of those things have been working against these indices and especially stocks so it's very toxic for stocks but if you look at the fibonacci retracement for this indice we can see that we basically found support right here at the 61.8 fibonacci retracement and pull back it doesn't mean that we cannot go lower from here but we did reach the bottom of this fibonacci retracement and we could basically see this uh, turn around and the reason why i say that is because uh, the massive uh, Biden stimulus packages of $1.9 trillion has been passed by the House of Representatives and uh, is going to go to the Senate, where it most likely also will be confirmed. And uh, therefore, that will be a massive boost to, uh, to, um, to the U.S. economy and the stock market as a whole. However, technical indicators, they are still not turning around. They are still all... Uh, bearish and momentum is to the downside which so we could see this fall a little bit further but a uh, total breakdown from here i would fair, be fairly surprised as we have been in a uptrend and these pullbacks have occurred um in recent days people were basically just value hunting selling and buying it back, back at a lower level so let's look at the dow jones So same goes for for the Dow Jones. It reached all the way up to 32,000 and then broke down towards the 50 moving average. It found support here and uh, we could go a little bit lower. If you look at a few minutes tracement, we could go down towards uh, uh, 30,600. So a little bit underneath the 50 moving average, moving average we'll get to the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. Uh, we can also look at the 
weekly chart and that could also give me another indication that we could drop towards all the way down to the 20 exponential that's around at 30,000 very round number so that is also previous almost the previous highs before the pandemic so if we were to break down significantly we would find major support around this area here taking indicators for the weekly are also turning around so yes we could have some more downside as the dow jones um well, both the, both the S&P and the NASDAQ have fallen significantly further and for a longer time period than the, than the Dow Jones. So this could uh, fall further, but around 30,600 or down to 30,000 to previous lows here, that is possible at this point. Technical indicators are very bearish, bearish. Momentum is to the downside. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So as you can see, we have been all over the place. We're still trending underneath the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are not as bearish as they have been. MACD is very bearish. So this will not turn around all of a sudden. It will take probably a few trading days before this turns around if we have basically reached the bottom. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this indice, you can see that we are just scratching the surface here and finding support at the first Fibonacci retracement at 38.2. The next one is down here at the 12,433. 12, and then we could also drop all the way down to 12,000, give or take. So this could have a lot of room to the downside. But these indicators, they are becoming flat. So it looks like we are basically rounding off here and could go back to the upside as i said the stimulus package has been um, passed by the house of representatives and uh, that will of course be very bullish for most of these for stocks and also indices but it also depends on the yield and also depends on the us dollar index at this point yes we'll probably have some um, downward uh, probably go lower before we go higher in this indice so let's look at the DAX. So we did break the 50 moving average. We went all the way down towards 13,639 and then rallied. Um, however, these technical indicators are still very bearish. Momentum is to the downside. And uh, yes, we could see a lot of choppiness. If we were to drop further from here, we'll probably find support around these previous lows here at 13,000. Uh, 400 500 a uh, give or take um, it will it will take some time the technical indicators are very bearish at this point so we'll most likely go another week before we continue if we break these previous lows we could head all the way down to the previous lows uh, highs over here and that's around 13,100 200 a give or take so let's look at the uk 100 Let's see, and you can see we just fell off a cliff on on uh, Friday. We fell all the way down to three, we give it down to uh, six thousand four hundred and sixty before finding support. Technical indicators are very bearish for this uh, indice. Technical, and uh, they basically momentum is to the downside. So we could get drop significantly further from here. Two hundred moving average is just. Uh, at the 6,234 level, but these previous lows here at 6,357 and a little bit lower at 6,311 would offer a fair amount of support. So at the moment, if you want to buy this, uh, it's probably a good idea to just wait until these technical indicators are showing signs of, of bullishness and this turning around. Otherwise, you're just um, catching a falling knife. So, hope you find this, uh, this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.